What's up guys, I'm Adam from Worldwide Cyclery. We've been getting a lot of requests to do a bike check on an SB130, so today we have answered those requests and we are here to do a bike check on my Yeti SB130. All right, so like I said, we've been getting a lot of requests to do a bike check on an SB130, so today we are here to do just that. Um, my bike, as you can tell, it's a black Yeti SB130, size medium. I've had this thing for about eight months now. I absolutely love it. Um, it has been pretty modified. It popped the hood. Pop the hood? Pop the hood. When I originally got the bike, it was bone stock. Since then, it's kind of been used as a test bike, so thank you SRAM, thank you RockShock, thank you Zip. Um, this thing is just, you know, pretty kitted out right now and I'm absolutely in love with it. So um, yeah, let's just kind of get started front to back. Um, tire wise, I'm running the um, Asagai's front and rear double or double down casing on those. I kind of am known for getting flat tires and, and being harsh on my rims. So I wanted to beef that up and I went with the double down and so far they've been really good. The grip is insane. Um, they are a little heavy, but totally worth it for the grip. Um, Fork, I got the new RockShock Pike Ultimate. Um, that's their new uh, 2020 signature series. And uh, so far, you know, it's been incredible. I think the silver just looks looks awesome. So very happy with that so far. Uh, grips, I'm running the ODI Elite Pro Lock-Ons. Those are pretty much my go-to grips. I've used them on every bike and plan to use them moving forward. Um, as far as my stem, I got the Raceface Turbine R stem, 32.5. I like to keep it pretty slammed. You know, I have kind of short arms, so I prefer have my bars nice and tight, and um, it just feels good to me. Uh, bars, bar wise, I'm running the Truvative 760s alloy for right now, and, and pretty happy with those. Uh, I'm running the uh, Super Deluxe Ultimate again, another 2020 product from uh, from RockShox. They've been you know super cool with us and sending us all this product to review and test out. So. Um, yeah, I've been very impressed with the, uh, with the SRAM and the RockShock products so far. Um, obviously, I'm running um, Axis, so I got full Eagle XX1 Axis on there. Um, I got the Reverb Axis. The combination of the two is, is pretty amazing. Everything is just instant. Um, one of my favorite features definitely has to be the burst shifting for up and down. It's just, you're never really struggling to find a gear. Anytime you need to get to that right gear, you can literally just hold it down and it'll just go. Um, it's, it's very impressive, very quick. Um, you just have to remember to charge your batteries. But uh, yeah, I love it, no complaints. Uh, keep it moving. I'm running the Issy flat pedals. Um, I really just like the, uh, the platform on them. They grip really, really well with my 510s, so I'm, I'm definitely happy with these. Um, as far as other little things, I'm running one up chain guide right here just because I tend to ride a little bit rockier stuff, park, and I want to be able to keep, uh, don't have to worry about losing a chain or anything like that at any point. Um, brakes, I'm running the, uh, the uh, Code RSCs, by far my favorite brake I've ever had. Um, super powerful, really can't really ask for much more. Um, wheel wise, like I said, I'm running the Zip, the new Zip 30 Motos. Uh, these are actually my first set of carbon wheels and uh, I don't think I can go back to aluminum after this. I really, really have enjoyed them. Um, the new technology on them, we did a separate video on them where we kind of discussed it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, these things work and I just, I'm loving them. It's, it's really, really a nice ride. Uh, what else? I think that pretty much covers it. Standard Yeti WTB saddle. One other thing to mention about the uh, Zip 3.0 Moto wheels is they do come with the Tire Whiz, which really, really cool feature. You can actually constantly be checking your tire pressure on your phone. All the Axis kit integrates into your phone, which is really, really cool. And you know, it just makes things really easy. All you gotta do is download the app. Anytime you're not sure of your tire pressure, you just check that. Um, it also has lights that blink to tell you kind of if you're within that set range. So really, really cool feature. Definitely enjoying that. Um, other than that, I think this bike is pretty much pretty dialed. I really don't have anything else I could add or want. It, it pretty much is my dream bike and I'm um, just super happy that it's all kind of come together this way. And yeah, I'm really, really stoked on it. So hopefully you guys liked it. Let us know in the comments if there's anything you would change, add to this bike, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.